Hi everyone, welcome back to 5 Minute Beauty. My name's Megan. Today I'm going to be taking you through how to achieve a flawless base in winter. Ready, set, go. Now step one to achieving a flawless base is your primer. I'm going to introduce you to two of my favorite primers. Now keep in mind I have normal to dry skin so I like a really dewy look and I need a primer that's super hydrating. If you have oily skin then I would definitely check out the Makeup Forever Shine Control Primer. That is a great one. If you like to be hydrated in some areas of your face and you want shine control in other areas of the face you can just kind of do it in patches. So you might put shine control primer through your t-zone or cheeks where you get oil and then you can pop a hydrating primer throughout the upper points of your face. If you are like me and you have that dry to normal skin type and you love a hydrating dewy finish, the first one is MAC Studio Radiance Moisturizing Illuminating Silky Primer. It feels like your skin has just had a really nice drink of water. The second favorite primer that I've been using for years and years and years and years, it's a staple in my kit and this is the Napoleon Purtis Autopilot Primer. I'm just going to pop on the MAC primer today. I have had like my SPF and lots of skincare on underneath so I'm already quite hydrated and then I'll just give it like a few minutes so that it can settle in before going in with foundation. Now we have done a whole video on how to choose the right foundation for you. If you needed any help with that, you're not sure based on your skin type, your concern, you don't know what the different finishes mean, follow this video over here. It has everything you need to know and we go through it step by step. If you are looking for a really nice upper highlight on your skin and you want that lit from within look, I will add a little bit of MAC strobe cream. I've got a little mini size because that's the one that I carry with me. I just pop this on the upper points of my cheeks and I I just find that afterwards when I'm applying products to this area, it really does give it a nice luminosity. I'm just going to use MAC Studio Radiance today. I'm kind of in between shades at the moment. For winter, I'm just gonna mix my C4 with some C2. So tip number one for when you're applying foundation, I like to always apply the foundation onto a different surface before I dip in with my brush. So that can either be the back of your hand, it can be on a little mixing palette, because this actually gives me much more control over the amount of product that I'm applying and the rate at which I'm applying it. So I like to start by applying the foundation towards the center of my face and then working out. So if you start from the center of your face and work your way out, the product will really easily feather out and distribute throughout the face. And then you'll just get a really nice, even natural application around your hairline. I'm using like a stippling brush today. If you want more of a sheer application and coverage, I would go for this sort of like kabuki brush or a beauty sponge. If you want more of a heavy application, I would go for probably like a normal foundation paddle brush, something that looks like that. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with how this is looking. I'm just taking this down into my neck as well. It is at this point when I have just my nice base of foundation on that I actually like to move on to my eyes rather than starting the rest of my face. Even if I have the slightest little bit of fallout from any eyeshadows or bronzers that I've used throughout the crease of my eye, I then don't have to go in and fix that. I'm just going to go and do my eyes and then we'll cut to me being glammed with eyes done. So now is when I like to go in with concealer. Two of my favorites are the Lancome Tint Idol Ultra Wear All Over Concealer and the Napoleon Purtis Camera Finish Concealer. I basically just apply it to places or areas where I feel like I need a little bit more coverage and I also want to brighten up those areas. So I will pop it underneath my eyes where I have a little bit of a dark circle. I will pop some over here because I feel like I just want to lift that area of my face and give it a little bit more coverage. I will then go in to the center of my brows and then through the center of my chin. Today, I'm going to use this little brush from Spectrum Times Katie Jane Hughes. It's brush 02 and I just like to pat that in. So now let's move on to some bronzer. You can use a cream bronzer, you can use a powder bronzer. Today I'm going to be using the Napoleon Purtis Cheek Switch Cream Bronze Stick in shade BR2. Now you've probably seen a lot of tutorials or videos on the internet where people will go in and draw on their face. I prefer to not do that. If we do the technique that I'm about to show you, you get a much more diffused and soft look. I'm going to grab a nice synthetic bristled brush and I'm just going to apply a light layer 
to the brush. Now, when it comes to bronzer placement, it depends on what you're trying to achieve. Now, if you're trying to contour, which means that you're trying to create more structure and you're trying to reduce an area of your face, I want you to grab a brush or your finger, find your cheekbone, and then there's a little nook just underneath your cheekbone, and that is where you should be applying the bronzer if you want to contour. If you're wanting to just bronze up your face and give it a little bit more life, then you actually can apply the bronzer to directly your cheekbone, and this will give you more of a lifted effect. That's what I'm going to do today. Let's just go in with this now and I'm just going to lightly buff that in. As you can see, that's given my face a little bit more structure and just some warmth and a glow. So there we go. Our cheeks are nice and structured now. I'm just going to use that same technique and I'm going to add some warmth and bronzer to the perimeters of my forehead and my jawline. Okay, so now we're all bronzed up. The only other place that I do add a little bit of bronzer is just to the sides of my nose. It just makes the nose look a little bit more snatched. Now onto blush. Now again, you can use a cream or a powder. With blush, we're gonna keep this super brief because I have done a whole video on blushes. So creams, powders, the whole shebang, which you can view over here. So the blush that I'm gonna be using today is a little bit of a hybrid formula. So it is actually a gel cream blush. It's from Maybelline and it's called Cheek Heat. And today I'm gonna be using the shade 20 Rose Blush. Just like the bronzer, I like to take some on the back of my hand and I'm just going to take a little stippling brush like we used for the foundation. I just like to press that into the apples of my cheeks keeping our face still. So when we apply towards the relaxed face apples of the cheeks and then upwards towards the temples you give your face a nice lifted effect. Now if you feel like the blush is a little bit too much or you've made a mistake just grab your foundation brush and you can diffuse those edges so that it all looks nice and blended and seamless. Now if you're the type of person that you know you get quite oily throughout your cheeks or you just know that you're going to sweat I would recommend going in with a powder blush and just setting everything that you've just done and we're just going to apply that directly over the cream product this stage that I would usually say you're good to go in and do anything underneath the eyes that you wanted to do so whether you wanted to pop on some liner some shadow mascara so I'm going to go and do that now while I was doing the underneath of my eyes I also did brows and lips while I was there and the final step of our base is powders. Now some of my favorites are Makeup Forever Translucent Powder, Anastasia Beverly Hills Translucent Powder, or one of my other faves is the Bobbi Brown Sheer Finish Pressed Powder. I use the shade Soft Sand. I'm just going to take a little bit of powder on my brush and I'm going to set the center of my forehead because I know that that gets quite shiny throughout the day. I will then just add a little bit of powder towards the sides of my cheeks and I'll just sweep that ever so gently up towards my under eyes and then I'll also set my chin. If if you find that you have a really oily skin type or you have other areas of the face that you want to set with powder, go for it. By applying all of our cream products, then we went in with powder. Then at the very end, I could just do a light layer of setting powder. That worked perfectly for me. And there we have it, everyone. That's the finished look and how to create a flawless base. If you have any questions at all, please pop them in the comments and we'll be sure to get back to you. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you want to see more from us, just subscribe to our channel. Bye guys.